All right. This video, I'm going to dedicate this to all my haters. Uh, it's an apology to, to them. Um, my haters, detractors, all of them. Just want to apologize ahead of time. Yeah, like, the time to really bag on me is pretty much passing. I'm sorry. Like, you guys missed out big, dude. Like, yeah, like, I'm about to just start doing, about to start living, my friends and enemies. I'm really about to start living. And before I go further with this whole detractors and haters, man, let me be perfectly honest here. Most of them... <laughs> probably have a good reason i'm not i'm very opinionated if i see something i don't like i have a bad habit of responding to it like someone say some fucking like some really hardcore leftists or even some hardcore fucking nazi shit i fly off the fucking i'll say some shit i'll make fun of and it obviously gets gets me a lot of uh beef on different platforms, YouTube, Facebook, shit, I can't even go on Twitter anymore, uh, even like the gore chat, or like the gore sites, <laughs> I even had trouble on there, but most of them, they got like, some, like hardcore, like real motherfucking Zig Heil douchebag types, you know what I mean, and I, I don't roll with that dude, I'm fucking biracial, I can't fuck with that shit, you know? I mean, I, I don't go on them as hard as I used to at that Gore channel. I just, because it just, I don't know. I just tell jokes and just move around. And I'm getting a lot more uh, positive interactions with that shit. I mean, yeah, it sucks to be, you know, that you could try to change hearts and minds and shit. But it can only go so far and then you just come off as cringe. I mean, I really do hate that shit, though. Seriously. A lot of them, they don't like uh, blacks. Oh, my God. They get so racist with that shit. And it really pisses me off because uh, the man that raised me is black. So, you know, I don't I don't really like that type of shit. So, I just try to ignore it these days. And then, like, it's so funny because it's just, like, <laughs> I'm, like, so in the middle on this shit almost, like, if you're a hardcore libtard, I don't like you and I won't fuck with you. But if you're a hardcore rightist, I, I won't fuck with you either. <laughs> so it just like puts me in the middle. No, I wouldn't say that. I'd say you're more conservative. Or, I don't know, man. I'm kind of getting away from that shit, too. It's just division, division, division. You know what I mean? <sighs> That's another reason why I wanted to make this video. But this, like, I'm really finding out who I am. And it's fucking wonderful. And oh, actually, my haters and detractors might actually like this. Uh, came to the realization that I'm a fucking, uh, just a fucking weirdo, I guess. And not like, uh, you know, hide your kids type weirdo. I mean, like, just a fucking dude that he, like, collects fucking action figures and likes fucking Dragon Ball Z basically yeah i'm a fucking nerd basically uh it's kind of funny because like if you go back look at my history and shit the people i used to hang out with i mean i i really hung out with killers and shit and that's like shit i'm not really bragging about honestly because I, I i don't like that type of shit anymore I like the type of shit i used to do crazy shit you know put a gun on somebody i used to like you know doing that type of shit or just having the balls to do it, you know? Now, honestly, I get the fucking depressed just thinking about that shit. I was fucking <laughs> getting emotional about that shit. <laughs> hey, man, fuck it, dude. You gotta climb yourself sometimes. You can't laugh at someone if you, you can't laugh at yourself. <laughs> I was getting emotional. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another thing, though. But yeah, those that don't like me, yeah, rejoice. I am sick um, And some of this shit Will never go away Sadly uh, Let's say I got a borderline Personality disorder And uh, bipolar um, And PTSD I'm not gonna get into the PTSD Shit today I know maybe one of these days I should do that video Cause it, it might uh, 
I mean, the hardest shit they gave me, the hardest PTSD. I might talk about that, but it's really, really personal. And I don't know if I, I got the balls to really do that shit. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever make that video. It's just too hard. Uh, yeah. Fucking, yeah, man. But, just saying that, man. You could, you could change, bro. Like, anybody could change. If I change, you could fucking change, bro. That's, that's my whole thing from this. Just going on an incoherent rant, pretty much. But, yeah. And for those of you that do argue with me on YouTube and shit like that and beef with me, thank you. Nah, I do mean that. Seriously, like, because when you interact with me, sometimes you guys might even change my mind on certain things, you know what I mean? So, sometimes maybe your points even get across. Slowly but surely, you know, I got a thick ass. Well, that was a hollow head. You know what I mean. Fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's just. It helps me uh, maybe change my mind, or it helps me um, go to my guns easier. It helps me with my confidence level, I guess you could say. Yeah, but that's. I don't know. I was gonna have a beer after work and really go in on this video, brag about how so close to finally uh, moving and all this shit. Which I am. I'm very close, man. I'm so fucking close. Just spent most of my paycheck already, but it's all shit that I need for the apartment. So I just need. So the next check is just gonna be mainly fucking food. Like I'm gonna spend like at least four hundred dollars on fucking food. Maybe a couple PlayStation accessories just so when I move, you know, it's gonna be so dope. Get to play my fucking Dead by Daylight finally. So yeah, it's looking like maybe it's a real fucking possibility. No later than June though. Fuck that man. I can't stay. Can't stay where I'm at any longer. I mean it's nice because I get to save up money and all that shit, but eh, I wanna live on my own. I miss living on my own. But at the same time, it could be pretty hard. Just think about maybe even uh, finding a roommate again. But man, fuck all that, dude. Like, you gotta put your name on. You got two different names on a fucking lease and shit. What if they screw you up? Because that's happened to me before. I don't want that shit to happen again. Fuck that. These bitches are crazy. And they'll fuck your whole shit up, man. I'm telling you. But yeah, finally, man. Finally got some teeth fucking pulled. I have no idea, man. To be fucking... Fucking dental pain so bad that you fucking think about killing yourself. That's some sad shit. You're not even depressed, but you're like, man. This pain hurts so bad. I want to end it all right now. <laughs> That's some shit, dude. Man, dental pain? Or back pain? Oh, I'm glad I don't have back pain, dude. But yeah, I've had back pain in before. It's, ooh, this shit could get real bad. I feel bad for people who are like real bad fucking back problems. I feel bad for y'all. But the dental pain, oh my God. And yeah, I've always had bad teeth, sadly. You know, I wasn't super poor growing up, but poor enough. My mom didn't want to. She really, I wish she did though, man. I really wish she would have took me to orthodontist when I needed to. I think that's my biggest gripe with my mom, maybe. Or maybe she should have been more attentive when I was little. Maybe some of the things wouldn't have happened to me when... I don't really blame her too much for that, though. It was a fucked up place. In the way that our grandma raised them up, yeah. Yeah. Sucks, man. <laughs> Bet my mom's uh, been wanting to bad shit on that so-called white privilege for her whole fucking life, huh? <clears throat> oh, she's doing well, though. She's, she's a good person. I wouldn't do shit without my mom. I'm gonna stay there, I guess. Fuck my dad. He could suck a nut. Fucking asshole. He's a fucking tribal elder, but he can't take his, care of his own kids. It should make that a prerequisite. Makes us all look bad as a people. I don't know. But that's just my my uh, video for the night. I'm, I will be back soon. I'm coming back hard, too. It's going to be so tight. Doing so good in life right now. 
<laughs> Mainly just because I got the fucking teeth pulled. They do that shit, just fuck my whole shit up. It's been in that pain all the fucking time for years, bro. Years. It's gonna get that shit taken care of, but Corona fucked it all up. And yeah, that's slacking for most of it, but that's it, though. I think I'll cut this now. Love you guys. If you want me to uh, sub to you, just uh, message me in the comments and I got you. Any ideas for other videos, hit me up. Shit. Even talk shit to me. Maybe I'll make a video of you. But sometimes when I do that, it's mostly just out of fun. Like, yeah, I'll be talking shit, but I'm just clowning most of the time. And after I'm done, <laughs> most of the time I don't even care. Like, I won't even be mad after. <laughs> this would really fucking piss me off, I guess. I don't know. But even then, I used to get over it pretty quick. But that's all, y'all. Seriously, man. Y'all could change. If any of y'all got fucking problems and you need something to talk to, you talk to me. I've been through it all, man. And I'm still figuring shit out, but two heads are better than one. Peace, people. Be easy.